Now, one of the stats that I don't know uh, as far as all the saber metrics or whatever we call them these days is uh, that I don't necessarily see. I know you've got innings pitched, K percentage, walk percentage, home runs per nine, Babbitt. All um, the the stat that I don't see in the saber metrics is this one: quality starts. Oh yeah, yeah. I think quality starts in this day and age. That if if they're not, I mean, I think they take they keep track of them. But I hear that term a lot when it comes to the Cubs pitching staff. The Cubs pitching staff, they are doing a great job with quality starts. They come in and give five, six innings. And um, if nothing, if one thing's changed in baseball through the years, not in the last 20 probably, this is the trend of having four or five pitchers a game uh, is has been a long one. But a quality start, does a lot for a baseball team in terms of wins and losses in, in my estimation, because um, you're getting, you, you have the opportunity to throw multiple pitchers out at batters. Uh, how many times do we talk about, okay, well, this is their second time around in the lineup. They've seen him once. They've seen him twice. They've seen him three times. Well, if you can get a quality start out of a guy and then throw a new pitcher out there, you've you got a better chance of securing a win. I'd love to see the numbers on all of that. You know, I've, I've never really delved into that. Well, I just had it pulled up and then I clicked on something else, but I'll just, just to your point, um, according to team rankings.com, I just pulled up Justin, St- like, so these are the players with four quality starts so far. Okay. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Uh, it's Shohei Otani. It's Garrett Cole. It's Shane Bieber, Mitch Keller for the Pirates, and Justin Steele and Marcus Stroman. Two of the think, think of that. Think of that. We're mentioning those two guys in the same breath as Shohei Otani and Garrett Cole. I know. Again, twenty games in. We're twenty right. games in, ladies and gentlemen. So let's not freak out too much about that. But still, that is something. I'm just going to say this. That's something the Cardinals typically find a way to do. And now the Cubs are finding a way to do it. And and you know you want to know what I'd like to do, and you're the good guy with the numbers. But what I'd love to do is go back to August of last year and find out how many quality starts pitchers have had since August of last year. I don't know if you can find that or not, but I'd like to see who's at the top of that list. August, really? September, October, April, um, May, or well, we're not in May yet but March, April, um, I, that that would be a fun number to look at if that's something that could be found. And while you're kind of looking around for that, I want to remind our listeners, the professor, he's not even on our staff. For, well, I mean, he's on our staff, but he's, he's not in Chicago yet. Um, because we don't need a fifth starter, Javier Assad was recently optioned to Iowa and um, Jeremiah Estrada, remember when I told you that our closer was in Iowa? Jeremiah Estrada has been recalled from AAA. And so you've got tail on, on the tie on on the uh, uh, IL, 15 day IL with a left groin strain, which happened in Oakland, by the way, while he's just playing catch, landed awkwardly on a possum in the outfield or something and stretched his groin strangely. Um, but he's he's going to attack the rehab. Kyle Hendricks will be returning in May. Cody Heyer, who had right elbow surgery, um, expected return is um, sometime mid-season 2023. Ethan Roberts could potentially, he just had Tommy John surgery, could potentially come back in late 2023 or 2024. Um, so there, you know, there are more pitchers out there for the Cubs that could play into even this season yet. Yeah. And yeah. So I, I couldn't find, um, I couldn't find like that specific information, but right. last year in quality starts. So here's where some of the, here were some of the leaders. Uh, Rambo Valdez from Houston tw- with 29, Hugh Darvish with 28, Alex Manoa, 25, Sa- Sandy Alcantara, Alcantara, with 24, Shane Bieber, 24, Joe Musgrove, 23, 
Garrett Cole, 23, Martin Perez, 23, Verlander, 22, and Miles Michaelis had 22 quality starts. And I believe that is the top 10 uh, as far as quality starts go. Wainwright had 16. I'm kind of looking for Cardinals and Cubs players. Montgomery had 14 last season. Uh, Stroman only had 12 last year, and I think that's the first Cubs player I see on here. But I don't know if that's necessarily fair because, I mean, I don't know how consistent your uh, starting pitching rotation was as far as who was in there, you know. Mm. I think you guys were calling calling some guys. I don't I don't remember. Bounced around anyway. a little more last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't as consistent. You, it feels like you have more of a stable uh, rotation this year, so which yeah. is good. So we'll see if the Cubs can keep that up. Um, you know, Mike's optimistic. I think it'll probably regress back to the mean a little bit, but I, it's still it's the Cubs are building building something. Yeah, and we'll see we'll see if the Cardinals respond because typically we've talked about it on this show before. When do the Cardinals start to get nervous and make moves? It's when the Cubs are good. That's when they, <laughs> that's, when they that's when they made the Marcelo Zuna trade, and I know people are sick of me talking about that, but. They're just going to have to deal with it. That was one of the worst trades in Cardinals history, probably. 